Okay, this is uh, one possible solution to chapter six. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to turn off all of the uh, the step commands, I guess, to airspeed, altitude, and course. And uh, the initial conditions right now are set to altitude equal to zero. You can notice here, let's climb out. Uh, the one thing to note, though, is that I do set the uh, maximum throttle at climb out to be 0.25 instead of 1 as indicated in the book. Uh, the aerosond is overpowered and you'll get you know a bit of uh, airspeed uh, gain. If that's 1, it, it really the airspeed climbs up. Um, so right now it's trying to hold an airspeed at 35. It's climbed up to an altitude of 100 and the course angle is 0. I can switch on uh, airspeed um, step commands and you can see that does a pretty good job of holding the, uh, the airspeed in these different commands. I'll let that switch once again just to, uh, to show you um, that airspeed at least uh, is, is working pretty well. Uh, of course it climbs a lot faster than it descends. Um, okay, let me uh, switch that off. We'll climb back up to 35 and then I'll turn the altitude um, steps on you'll see that, uh, and, and you know, this is in the middle of uh, different step commands, so the altitude uh, is, uh, altitude loop is working fairly well. Again, I'll let that uh, uh, switch one more time. Notice there is quite a bit of coupling between altitude and airspeed. Um, that's just uh, the nature of, of uh, the way airplanes work as you climb uh, the airspeed and uh, right now these loops are not coupled. Um, so you see the altitude loop. Uh, maybe I'll let it switch one more time. The altitude, well, I guess I can switch the altitude loop off and it will uh, then command, uh, um, oh, oops, that's the wrong one. It will command uh, altitude of 100. And let that settle out for a moment. And then um, I'll switch the, uh, the course uh, command outside the um, view of the, the window here, but you'll notice that uh, in terms of course uh, directions, it seems to be working fairly well. And let that switch for a minute. We can actually uh, turn all of these on at once, and that gives you a little bit better idea of how um, you know the coupling when they're switching in altitude, you'll notice, you know, motion in both the course and the, uh, the airspeed uh, directions. So anyways, that's uh, the way 